Let me first introduce myself. Uh, my name is Eugene Asif. I'm uh, founder and CTO of a company called Chainstack. Um, and we are building a managed blockchain services uh, platform. Uh, and today I will be uh, mostly talking about uh, Hyperledger Fabric uh, managed services that we've built for the last couple of years. Uh, and we'll show a live demo of it as well. Um, so uh, first I will start um, uh, and describe uh, our company a little bit, then we'll talk about what is basically the best uh, managed blockchain services you can think of uh, to date. Uh, I will then show a demo. We'll talk about a few interesting enterprise-focused features uh, that we have, and then uh, we'll, sh we'll, we'll, ha we'll have a Q&A session, of course. Uh, so Chainstack uh, is a company that was established in uh, 2018. So uh, we're quite uh, for some time in this uh, in this market uh, already. Uh, we've been mentioned uh, a couple of years in a row in, in Gartner reports for uh, managed blockchain services. Uh, we have a bunch of interesting technologies uh, built in house with a few patents uh, uh, pending for them. Um, and we have around 20 people currently who are building the, the, the platform and, and doing the, the services uh, that I will be talking about today. Um, among our customers uh, for enterprise blockchains, uh, companies like uh, Deloitte, PwC, Fujitsu, um, other startups that also build solutions uh, on top of uh, uh, different blockchains. Um, so we have a very broad uh, partner ecosystem uh, we work with uh, uh, software development companies as well who help us to not only uh, build the infrastructure but also to deliver the, the entire solution for our customers including uh, development of uh, smart contracts in, in case of fabric is chain codes building uh, web applications and so on so uh, we uh, understand the need of um, the uh, ecosystem and we try to deliver the best uh, solutions uh, possible including uh, full stack approach for building the blockchain um, uh, applications. So what's so special about our platform? Um, there are a few things. First is that you can really start building with Chainstack quickly. So um, in a few clicks, you can have a, a fully production grade um, uh, network, uh, let's say Fabric or any other protocols that we support, uh, such as Quora, uh, Quorum, uh, Ethereum as well as a, a bunch of public blockchain protocols. Um, so we are also operating as a bridge between uh, traditional uh, businesses, enterprises, and the uh, Web3 world. So that's our um, um, unique value proposition as well. Um, another important thing that uh, we see the need for, in, especially in enterprises, is that uh, we can deploy nodes and networks for all these protocols in a completely agnostic fashion across uh, different hosting providers, so we can support your on-prem infrastructure, and we support all top cloud providers as well, so you can always choose uh, where to deploy your um, blockchain nodes and networks. Um, we also support private hosting, so that you can choose, like, okay, I want to deploy in my own Azure subscription, but I don't want it to be in, in Chainstack's cloud, and that is that is certainly possible uh, with us. So we try to be operating across all different hosting options and not only cloud, but also uh, on-premises as it's, uh, uh, and as we've seen a lot of demand for on-premises deployments as well. Uh, and what's, what's most importantly, you can manage all your projects, all your networks throughout uh, a single console. So you don't need to go to uh, different solutions uh, for different, uh, networks, whether it's development, production networks, or uh, you just want to experiment with different protocols, that's something that we provide out of the box. So once you're on board to Chainstack, you can uh, use different protocols out of the box. You can experiment with them. Um, Fabric uh, has been our um, flagship um, uh, protocol, so we've we've got a lot of projects um, built since we released uh, support for Fabric, uh, which was around. Uh, uh, one year ago, we started with Fabric version 2 uh, already, so that's why we attracted a lot of interest in the, in the community for our managed services. And because the rest of the providers at the time just supported uh, version 1, uh, so we were basically the first provider who supported Fabric version 2, and that's something that we um, continue doing today um, by supporting the newest features of Hyperledge Fabric uh, and providing the best uh, experience possible. So. Um, 
of course, as, as I briefly mentioned, the uh, entire blockchain-based solution doesn't end with um, infrastructure. So that's why we provide other layers that are required for uh, the blockchain solution to be successful, such as governance uh, and, and application um, level. So apart from the network and node orchestration uh, that we provide um, out of the box across all the clouds and, and protocols, uh, we also have uh, consortium membership um, uh, management built in. So let's say you have a project, uh, you can invite as many members as you want in this in this project. They can collaborate on a project. In any project, you can have multiple networks uh, that they would work on. Um, uh, let's say you can have development, staging, production networks, all in the same project, all shared within the same group of participants. Um, for governance, we also provide identity management so that you can basically issue uh, new identities for new members. You can uh, you can revoke them. Uh, so all the necessary um, functions for for this are also included into the platform. Um, and what's uh, important to deliver the end uh, value is application tier. So we have marketplace with the um, different tools, uh, templates, um, and services that are useful for um, any application development um, on any blockchain protocol. Um, you can take a look at uh, what, what we provide in our marketplace. Uh, we have quite extensive um, variety of different solutions um, that can be used to enhance the, uh, the, the, the first two layers that I mentioned. Uh, what's also important across all these layers, we have an API um, so that, let's say, you want to include uh, deployment of uh, your network in your, let's say, CI CD pipeline. That would be definitely possible. Uh, we provide all the functions that are here. Um, via uh, an easy to use, uh, easy to comprehend API. So you can do all this, all these things through the uh, UI that I will show later, but you can also use the, the API for programmatic access to all these uh, functions. Um, I spoke a little bit about different uh, hosting options. So um, uh, this uh, is a bit of um, uh, elaboration on that. So we have a few modes of uh, operation of our platform um, with regards to the platform itself, uh, like the, uh, the control panel plus the blockchain uh, workloads themselves. Uh, so one of the easiest options and that you can basically kickstart in, in five minutes um, is cloud. So basically we manage the control panel and we also manage um, the node infrastructure. Um, basically it's completely managed solution. Um, uh, customers or partners, they don't, they don't need to worry about anything. They just basically use the the nodes uh, and, and the API is provided by the nodes and other functions of, of the platform. Uh, all the maintenance, all the uh, upgrades, all the installations uh, of a, a di different components are automated. Um, so basically, you don't need to do anything. Uh, in hybrid scenario, uh, th that was one of the most popular uh, scenario for us, um, is when basically the control panel is managed by us and then the, enterpr uh, the, then the enterprise um, uh, selects to run their own uh, infrastructure for, for nodes. Uh, and then we basically manage the nodes in their own infrastructure. And uh, most of the things are automated because we are agnostic in terms of uh, hosting options. Uh, but some of uh, some of the things are uh, we, we assist to do. Let's say we, uh, we tend to set up let's say, custom monitoring solutions in, in customers' uh, infrastructure. Um, logging solutions and this kind of uh, utility um, uh, are basically uh, installed on demand and based on the based on the customer request. And the other um, uh, part of the scale is self-hosted solution is uh, whenever a partner or a customer needs full control, um, so we can provide you uh, and we can install a control panel on your own premises, including. Uh, the, the blockchain clusters that you can uh, use to deploy your own nodes. So everything will be um, entirely on premises. So we will just ship you the software and, um, and provide you the services so that everything works as, as expected. Um, so here's a quick demonstration of how it uh, generally looks like. So this is um, an example of uh, hybrid deployment. So we host the, uh, the, 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 let's say, the core of the platform, the control panel, and then the nodes, the networks, and all the blockchain uh, components are hosted uh, across clouds and on-premises clusters. Uh, what's also cool, you can do cross-platform um, 
uh, cross cloud and cross hosting uh, deployment as well. So let's say one of the nodes are running in, in, in AWS, the, sec uh, the second node is running in uh, Google Cloud, and then the third node can be running in on-premises cluster. So uh, thanks to the automation that we've developed, you can uh, uh, do all this all these scenarios uh, seamlessly. Um, another example is when um, a customer or a partner uh, demands self-hosted deployment. In this case, everything is hosted by uh, the customer. Again, you can choose uh, when you deploy um, and where you deploy uh, all the components. So you can have multiple clusters deployed in different locations, and you can have um, a dedicated facility for uh, the control panel to host it um, as a standalone component. Um, so on the, on the governance tier, uh, uh, what is interesting that uh, you can uh, onboard new members in your uh, in your consortium or in your in your project in a, in a few clicks. You can invite uh, them via email. You can also use our team features. You can invite different uh, users from your organization into the um, uh, into your account so that they can collaborate with you on these projects, of course. Um, and uh, last but not least, as I mentioned, you can uh, streamline identity management and um, life cycle of um, uh, different identities in, in within the network or across all your projects uh, within the single uh, control panel, which allows you to do um, uh, very interesting things. So for instance, uh, you, uh, you, you, you want to collaborate um, uh, between different organizations, you are not yet sure uh, which protocols you want to use, for instance, or how you want to organize your network. And our platform allows you to experiment with all that. Um, it, and you can use different protocols for different purposes. And then you can choose one and that you, you can move into a production with the same setup uh, uh, without need to change anything. Uh, application tier, uh, again, as I mentioned, we have a bunch of solutions in our uh, marketplace. Um, uh, which add value as monitoring solutions or um, uh, off-chain storage solutions. Um, so I um, encourage you to browse through our marketplace to check out uh, what other options we provide on top of um, our core platform. So now about uh, our Hyperledger Fabric support. As of today, uh, we support Hyperledger Fabric uh, version 2.2 um, um, as we um, uh, have this uh, capability to automate all, all the all the deployments and do cross cloud, uh, cross hosting deployments. Uh, it what it, it's done thanks to uh, Kubernetes uh, technology that we use uh, underneath. Um, we also simplified onboarding for all the new um, uh, members of of your uh, consortium by uh, joining all the members by default in this in in the initial channel, um, so that they can uh, try out uh, the communication between the peers, between the nodes uh, immediately. Uh, we also deploy service nodes um, by default. So we include a raft order uh, for each network, and you can add more orders if you want. Uh, and we also deploy an instance of Hyperledger Explorer, which is an official um, Hyperledger Fabric Explorer uh, per member organization. So each uh, member has uh, their own Explorer, which is private to them, and they can see what's going on on the network from their perspective. Uh, so on the on the right side, you can see how uh, platform looks like, and um, I, I would like to show it to you um, right now. So since we have um, uh, not so much time, I will just show you a very basic demo on how platform looks like, how you can deploy uh, um, nodes and networks here. So for the sake of this event, I created a, um, a project called Next Generation Credentials uh, Platform to collaborate on uh, uh, education and training data uh, between different members. As you see here, I have uh, a lot of other projects. And as I mentioned, we support both consortium blockchains and public blockchains. So you can, um, again, manage all your portfolio of different blockchain projects in the same, in the same uh, interface. But today, uh, we want to focus on the uh, consortium ones. So for this, I created a network um, uh, just now, which is called Dev Network, uh, which is based on Hyperledge Fabric, um, uh, with uh, one node from my organization, uh, which I call University Node. And um, then there are a couple of service nodes, as I mentioned. Uh, we have Explore here, we have Order. We can click through and see all the details about the version, about who created uh, this um, uh, this node, like what's the, what's the hosting like, where we uh, host the nodes, 
and um, how do you access this um, um, this ordering service, for instance? Uh, you can also see all the details uh, of the of the network, so you can see the channel ID, and um, uh, you can see like uh, the um, um, uh, organization names, MSPs. Uh, you can see the identity issuers. Here, for the sake of uh, simplicity, I, I used um, CryptoGen, uh, which is one of the options that is spotted on the platform alongside with uh, Fabric CA. Um, you can also click through and see your identity, uh, for instance, and then you can export this identity. What is important, we, we provide a very open um, a platform so that, let's say, if you want to add more nodes from uh, on-premises, which do not have to run on Chainstack, you can export all the data that, that you need uh, to do this. So let's say you can export your admin identity or, or you can export the connection profile. You can plug in your favorite tools like, um, like IBM blockchain uh, extension uh, for VS Code, which is an excellent tool to build um, uh, high pledge fabric applications that we personally like a lot and we use a lot in our projects. Um, we are fully compliant with this um, uh, extension. So we have a section in our documentation how to uh, plug in uh, the extension to our platform as well. Um, we can always deploy uh, other nodes as well. Um, if we go to the project itself, we can see uh, this button called members. We can click the members and uh, we have a couple of them here. We can invite more members just by uh, um, providing the email address. So the person on this email address will receive an invitation. We'll have to create account if uh, they, they don't have one and then they will be able to join the same project and collaborate within the networks in this project. Um, so I will just show you how simple it is to uh, deploy new nodes. Um, so basically, in uh, addition to uh, my university node, I want to add um, like another node which is called, let's say, Ministry of Education. Uh, I just specify the node name. Um, I use the same um, uh, CryptoGen identity issuer that I can also click through and, and read more details about uh, because I'm deploying a node from the same organization. Uh, I can use um, different hosting options. Um, so as I mentioned, we support private hosting options, uh, which are facilitated by integrations. Uh, so as for today, we support um, um, Amazon as a private hosting option. So you can plug in uh, as a self-service your own um, Amazon account into the platform and then deploy the nodes in, in your account. Uh, but for the sake of the demo, I will use uh, our Chainstack managed infrastructure. Um, I will uh, use uh, some other cloud provider and some other region rather than I used for the first node, uh, which was um, um, uh, AWS US. So let's say I want to use uh, Microsoft Azure in London, and that's what I will uh, choose for, for the deployment. The node will be pending for a few minutes, and then it will go live. It will join the channels. It will uh, be configured correctly so that it's fully operational without any <coughs> Uh, intervention from the from the user. As I mentioned, we also provide uh, Explorer out of the box. So this is Explorer for, uh, for my organization. I can see all the nodes, uh, all the transactions, all the chain codes, uh, all the features basically provided by uh, Hyperledger Explorer. I can I can see here. Um, as for the node details, basically I can go inside the node. Uh, you can see all the docs here that we provide helpers for. So like how to connect to your node, how to build chain code. We provide a bunch of tutorials, which are end-to-end, -end, starting from how to uh, deploy your nodes and uh, then how to build your web application as well. Uh, and then, basically, uh, you can connect to your node um, uh, via these credentials. You can export the, the peer details so that you can connect it uh, to it through the SDKs, like Node.js SDK, for instance. Uh, we also provide uh, node logs out of the box as well. Um, so you can also see, uh, like, not only peer logs, but also your um, uh, chain code um, logs as well, because you can choose between, like, peer and chain code server uh, containers. Um, so this is pretty much what I wanted to show. Um, I will be happy to elaborate um, on any questions that, uh, that you might have um, about the platform. Uh, offline or in, in the QA session as well. So I'd like to spend um, um, a few minutes about um, our enterprise um, solutions. So we basically, um, out of the box, we provide uh, um, um, uh, 
answers to the uh, to the challenges that are exposed to uh, modern um, companies like uh, security, data privacy, identity management operations. Some of them I also uh, uh, explained. Um, in terms of security, we uh, follow all the all the security practices um, uh, because we our team we have a lot of experience in in, in security prior to working on on on, on Chainstack platform. Um, so everything that we uh, do is is according to this uh, practices. So we um, uh, we um, uh, encrypt all the all the storage, of course, um, so that nobody can access it. Uh, we apply. Um, uh, we have backups and uh, disaster recovery uh, policies for all the all the nodes that are running on, on Chainstack Enterprise. Um, uh, we have audit trails for all the activities. Uh, we provide uh, customers also access to this audit trail. So if you go to events in the console, you will see all the all the actions that uh, were done in the platform. Uh, we obviously do like uh, vulnerability assessment, patch management, so uh, and all the communications that we. Um, um, basically provide uh, from node to node or from node to customer uh, all the time encrypted. So we use TLS for, for all of them. Uh, we also support the factor authentication in the platform, of course, and uh, we enforce it for all our um, um, employees as well. Um, so I, 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 I briefly talked about the, the vault, the identity management uh, solution that we have. Um, so again, there is a very a strong encryption applied there. Uh, thanks to all the cloud providers that we use. Um, we also use a solution called uh, HashCorp Vault um, that's quite well known in the uh, ecosystem for even for blockchain um, because uh, the, uh, HashCorp is very friendly towards uh, blockchain uh, communities and they support a lot of uh, uh, algorithms and uh, primitives that are, are used in, in the blockchain uh, protocols. Um, we also support external uh, key management solutions uh, and, uh, um, and hardware-based solutions for key storage um, on our Chainstack Enterprise plan. Um, as for privacy, we uh, have zero data touch points with uh, on-premises deployments or private hosting deployments. So everything uh, is stored in the uh, customer premises, uh, all the data. So we have no visibility into the, the ledger data. We don't have we don't have access to it. Um, we um, use least privilege um, uh, best practices as well for all um, uh, deployments. So we try not to access um, uh, things that we don't need to access. Um, and as we use containerized applications, 100% uh, each node um, and also any other applications are isolated from each other, including the, the runtime and data. So uh, they cannot interact with each other. They cannot uh, like corrupt uh, with each other. Uh, as for operations, um, we uh, showed a, a couple of things here, like I uh, showed uh, node logs that you can access yourself. Uh, there's also activity log that I mentioned that you can go through yourself in the platform. Uh, we also maintain uh, quite advanced uh, monitoring dashboards for ourselves, and we build them on demand for the customers who are running in hybrid or uh, on-premises fashion. Um, so we uh, ensure that all the operations are um, a monitor and, uh, and alerted uh, whenever possible and whenever is needed. Um, last but not least, we also provide uh, professional services uh, to uh, facilitate uh, custom requests from our customers and partners that appear uh, from time to time, um, uh, not only related to infrastructure, but also to um, uh, different automation related to their own processes, um, let's say to the application uh, building pipeline or to the application development itself. Um, so uh, this is also a feature of, of Chainstack Enterprise Plan. We have uh, quite a number of enterprise customers who use this, the services to uh, basically customize our solution and uh, build things on top of our solution uh, with the help of um, the Prof Services team. So uh, I think that's all for today from me. Um, uh, really happy to have you on board to try out uh, what we've built. Uh, we have uh, currently 14 days free trial for uh, all uh, consortium uh, services, So, uh, which means that you can run a complete high fabric network completely for free uh, for two weeks. Uh, and you can try it out um, and you can see whether it's a good fit. Um, uh, for your organization. Uh, you can check out our docs and tutorials. 
um, on our documentation site, and uh, you can generally learn more on our uh, website called chainstack.com. Um, that's all from me, and I think we have uh, around five minutes uh, for questions. I see we have this nice Q&A um, button. Um, so if you ask questions, I will be very happy to, uh, to address them. All right, I think we have a first question from Adam. Uh, do we have plans to integrate managed services for IPFS or similar blob storage? Uh, great question. Um, so we uh, are currently looking into IPFS in particular because it's the most popular um, decentralized storage solution that uh, is used in, in many different applications. So um, if you are interested, you can go to our marketplace and just click um, get started. We have IPFS listed there. So as soon as we have um, uh, it online and we have it in, um, in, in, in a beta, mode, we'll be happy to provide you early access. Um, but storage solutions uh, are definitely uh, ones that are on our radar because we understand the need of not just uh, storing state, which is usually quite minimal, but also storing objects and data uh, that doesn't necessarily need to be on the blockchain, but can be on, on some storage solution. Uh, but since we're using blockchain, which is distributed, we want to use distributed storage. So that's why we we are keen to support uh, solutions like IPFS for, for storage. So feel free to reach out to us uh, from Marketplace and we'll register your interest and we'll be happy to provide you early access. Any other questions here? We have quite a lot of people on the on the talk, including blockchain engineers. So we'll be happy to hear from you guys what you think and uh, how we can help to uh, to get rid of headache of managing all this infrastructure by yourself, because that's our mission. Uh, we've seen a lot of um, people uh, having a lot of troubles setting up their own even development network. So that's why we want to help everyone. Um, to access this um, newish um, technology called blockchain so that you can start building right away. Uh, so we try to provide as, as, as much information and as much automation that, uh, that we can uh, for you to start building. Also, um, worth, worth mentioning that our pricing is very um, affordable. So we don't have any hidden costs. So whatever you see on your pricing, on the pricing page of our website is what you get. So there, there are no like costs for running Kubernetes cluster or, uh, or having additional storage, etc. cetera. Um, so uh, that's something that uh, we're also very proud of uh, that this, the, the pricing is very, is very affordable for all developers to start building on Chainstack. So uh, we'll be very happy to, to see you um, on board and, and trying the platform. Uh, since there are no more questions, I think we're good and done. Uh, if anything, please feel free to reach out to, to me at ea at chainstack.com or just use a contact form on our website. Uh, we also have Discord, Telegram, uh, you name it, uh, channels for interaction. Uh, see you there. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>